Hi guys, welcome to the Need to Remastered project. My name is Sekosa and on this video I'm going to show you what I've been doing. I've been missing for uh, quite some time. Uh, I haven't been sleeping, I can guarantee that. I've been working hard on uh, releasing the game and I will show you guys. And what I've been working on uh, these past, I think, two or three months that I haven't released anything has been the tournament listings the the auto generated um, tournament listings right here i don't know if you guys remember it used to appear like three icons saying amateur etc etc right now i can't show you because i have broken it for good reason okay so in a few videos this will be full functioning i already tested mostly it's uh, working i also have the tournament um, mm -hmm. this part the canvas part that makes the qualifying pass that's also done. It's not completely programmed, the part where the bots start appearing and setting times, etc. That's not done yet, but it should be fairly quick. Um, mm -hmm. Let me see. This is the, the quality run uh, overlay. Then there's the tournament overview. I don't know if you guys remember. Everything is programmed, including this little box that moves the screen. It generates the bots. And it shows them in the tournament tree i mean other than that there's this option thing optional thing i don't know if you guys remember me talking about uh, connecting every single offline let's say tournament like the against the cpus connecting them all so that you guys can chat between each other while you know while you're farming money because it's gonna be quite boring i remember it was quite boring so that's also here and it's done and with this being said, I have been working on the actual lobby. And uh, I know that you guys already seen this, uh, at least just the basic part of it. Uh, the chat, I think I've shown you guys, I'm going to show it again, nothing new. But what, what I have done new, and it took me, I think it was past three or four days to make, or more, I think it took a little, a little longer because I don't have the infrastructure built right now, so I'm doing that from scratch, obviously. It's, um, let me see if I can show you guys. It's the actually queuing and the tournament lobbies and the connecting, um, the general generalizing of code so that uh, it can work for both normal lobbies, King of the Hill lobbies, uh, bracket lobbies, all kinds of lobbies that we might imagine. So I need to, in a way, try to abstract code so this being said let's see ignore this tag this is just for me for debugging uh -huh. okay this is my account this is another separate client okay i'm gonna connect it i can't connect it because it has my own account let's do this okay and right now because it's in debug mode let's say um every time that i click on the racetrack it just joins auto joins the session in a test lobby you see test lobby and if i do that with the devel uh, development uh, build it does the same thing as you guys can see here we are both in the same room let me just move this over here okay cool and this moves <laughs> we can chat that's been established just put this here so you guys can see you see receiving messages so yay networking and I can create challenges you guys probably remember this part but it's I, I find it really nice to see it coming together so right now you can challenge yourself it's not supposed to but let's challenge Sagosa he has two vehicles you guys probably remember the plates appearing and the brand that's not done yet and it's not really something important right now so i'm gonna leave it at that it shows the vehicles it's good enough i'm gonna select the green one this is the my car there's the mitsubishi and the green integra i'm gonna sh choose the mitsubishi i'm gonna set a dial in time of 17 points you will i don't know something like this click here and this is something that I'm going to have to discuss with you guys, because be if I had tried to bet um, with someone that doesn't have enough cash, uh, for example, Sakosa account has um, 
little less than 5k so if I bet 5k he won't allow me you see it doesn't allow you so <laughs> this is a really ingenious way to find out if the player has more money than you I don't know if this should be a thing or not but uh, yeah we'll have to talk with you guys about this one but you can bet for money you see Hmm. Let me just see something. Oh yeah, this is bugged. Uh, da, da, da. I need to choose the vehicles, otherwise he doesn't get uh, selected. Aha, you see? It changed. Okay, cool. And then you click next and it appears. Really nice. I love events. They are really nice. And you can either accept, decline, cancel, you know, obviously. This uh, is not working. And either is this, I can write whatever I want, it won't work. It will process the data, but won't work. So if I accept, it goes to the queue. And now it's the, the gameplay part, the timing of 30 seconds to accept. Otherwise you're chicken, chickening out, etc., etc. But it's working. So we'll be racing in no time since we already have the track, practice track uh, working. Let me see if this crashes. It doesn't. Nice. Um, oh, damn it. Yeah, right. <laughs> we have the practice track the actually the actual racing i'm gonna have to refactor a lot of that code so that again it's more uh, abstract and it can work either with bots with practice tracks or normal pvp and teams pvp so that will need to be re reworked it should be fairly easy but it's gonna take a lot of time but i hope you guys are enjoying the the trip that we are taking together and remaking the Nito Legends 1320 game and I hope to see you on the strip so the target right now it's at the ends of the Q2 so June I'm gonna say June August because it's gonna take a lot of time for for the beta not the full release that's that there is a lot of things that have broken since i am reworking the lobbies so you guys have to be a little bit patient about that okay so but yeah i'm i'm targeting august june july somewhere in between you guys are gonna have to give me a lot of leeway because if something in my life changes everything in the game development changes as well but uh, follow me on the discord i'm always releasing pictures of the development of the game and if you guys want to help it's the same thing join discord interact and uh, help us out okay so thanks for watching bye